Love how Lord Jeff can be seen on camera firing shots. Hey, this is what he did on the camera. <laughs> Y'all went back to the spot where he lost his life and reenacted how he lost his life, bro. A day after that vlog was released, Trap City Carter had lost his life. After being gunned down, I wonder why. Lil Hound, right. Lil Jeff, right hand man Q50, immediately went to Instagram to showcase that he allegedly got get back. Get up, get up. Trap city down till they get back. And they came to their op's funeral and stalked them, gang. She was a half a block away. She didn't make it a block. She didn't even make it a block away from the funeral. And she got hit up in a drive by and crashed into the crib. What well, up, Moolah gang? So I think. I think they saying the person that ended up unaliving Bloodhound Lil Jeff while he was on the hit, I think the person who killed Lil Jeff's sister, I don't know, it's getting crazy. Somebody's sister got smoked, gang, at a funeral, bro. Somebody's sister got unalived at a funeral, gang. I don't know what's going on, folks, but we finna break y'all, we finna break it down. Let's start there. Do your homework on Mac Moolah breaking it down, folks. Let's get it, folks. That's Lil Jeff getting unalived, folk. Notice is Jeff is hit. Who noticed that? Hey, Wilder. Hey, this is what he did on the Steady play. <laughs> oh, they making fun of him like that? They said this is what he did. I think that's the house that he died at. <laughs> They trolling. Police say two men shot and killed another man last night in the Oakland neighborhood on the south side. Police putting down multiple evidence markers there at the scene near 38th Place and Ellis. They trolling. Up, we ran for deep in the right on the way back at the catch us ahead. Trap City down till they ass get back. Aguar was killed as she down. took part in a funeral procession. It had just left a church in Harvey when someone opened fire oh. at 147th and Sealy in Dixmoor. The Jaguar and crashed, crashed the jag into a nearby home. When you think about a funeral, it's often a profoundly sad place where grief hangs bro, in the air. Bro, they trying to save, I, bro. Run deep. I'm, and amidst bro. the sorrow, many people strive to push through their pain to celebrate the life of the person they've lost. This duality of mourning and celebration can create a complex of atmosphere mm -hmm. where laughter and tears coexist as loved ones remember their cherished moments. However, the reality of violence can cast a shadow over these gatherings. The mention of a killing at a funeral is particularly hunting. In the past 24 hours, that happens in Chicago, though, bro. And I, I don't know if it's been happening in other states, but that's one of the reasons why I stopped going to my homie's funerals because. It was getting too hot, folks. It was getting too hot to go. It was it was too much going on. You feel me? One of the last funerals I went to, the person who supposed to have set my homie up came to the funeral. How you think that how you think that go? Hold on, y'all, because y'all know I love putting y'all on to that easy money. Cashkick.com is a free, free to use cash rewards marketplace. That helps you save and grow your money. This is some of the simplest and easiest ways to make money right now. All you have to do is play mobile games on your phone and you can earn up to $500 per deal. Now remember, I said CashKick.com is free to use so they will never, ever, ever ask you to send them any type of money. Signing up is super easy. All you need is an email and a password. Once you sign up, all you have to do is download your first offer and start making money. Now your offers and reward amounts can change at any time. So that means you can download a game on your phone, play it for long enough, make $500 on one day, and the next day you can download a whole nother game, play it for long enough, make $300. Next day, same thing. This is some of the easiest money I can tell you about right now. And again, you can earn up to $500 per deal so this is what i need you to do go to cashkick.com make you an account activate your account make sure you turn on allow tracking on your phone so that the app can actually track how much you're playing the game and earn you some of the easiest money you can make y'all can't say i ain't never did nothing for you Skate. you see what i'm saying he lost her life just a block away after attending her brother's funeral this is a stark reminder of how grief can intertwine with the violence and loss this young business owner had dedicated an Instagram post to her brother. We'll later discuss. Just is that Lil Jeff's sister? Untimely demise. 
Today we dive into her story and explore the circumstances surrounding this tragedy. How this could have happened? Was this retaliation or past conflicts? Fam will examine the details of her brother's life, where he was from, and the recent tension that he may have that escalated into violence. Or, or, or was it a Trap City member? Fueled by social sister. media and local rappers. But before we get into this one, I want you guys to remember, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'll jump right to it. Fam, it's a neighborhood in Chicago that go by the name of Trap City, Trap City. also known as Unk Gang. You see them calling it Unk Gang, but that's something new. A couple months yeah, ago, new. an up and coming rapper from Chicago named Bloodhound Lord Jeff lost his life. His last moments was captured on camera. This incident took place in Trap City. Bloodhound Lord Jeff was attempting to take the life of a man named Rob from Trap City in his own neighborhood. Right. As Rob ran for his life towards the trap house, Bloodhound Lord Jeff can be seen on camera firing shots. Trying to catch Suddenly, him. Lord Jeff drops to the ground after being shot, and the killer is not on camera. People involved right. in the culture, both in Chicago and beyond, begin calling Trap City Unk Gang. Check out some footage. Lil Jeff run up. I think, I don't know who that was, but I think somebody, because whoever that was had dread. So that wasn't, that wasn't Rob right there, folks. That was somebody else. I think he was running back in the crib, and Rob was in the crib and seeing what was going on, and Rob blasted. They said they noticed Jeff was hit, and people said that person in that red was Bloodhound Q50. They said this was Q50. People saying this was Q50 because Q50 had the same kind of outfit on at around that time. You feel? Me? And if that was, and you ran, you talking all this savage in your songs, and you ran, and you ain't like that crib up. Y'all ain't go out like y'all ain't y'all supposed to be savages, soldiers. You feel me? Y'all supposed to be Hitman Pay, Hitman in Milwaukee. Y'all supposed to be the biggest, toughest killers in Chicago, folks. Y'all was supposed to go light that crib up. Y'all sat down and stopped just because blood, because Lil Jeff hit the floor? See, then, then it started, then people starting, when, when I see that, it's starting to make me think, like, okay, maybe Lil Jeff was the crazy one, and y'all was just around to say that y'all was with him. Maybe. I don't know. This is all speculation, though, but I'm saying, I don't even know if that's Q50. But I don't, you feel me? If it, whoever it was, they ran on Lil Jeff, boy, and they did not Man, like that crib. Because of all that we just discussed, that alleged trap house has now become infamous for all the wrong reasons, both in Chicago and beyond. A popular Chicago vlogger who go by the name of On The Couch TV, On the couch known TV. for visiting various neighborhoods and documenting hood culture, did the same for Trap City. Right. In front of the house where Bloodhound Lord Jeff lost his life. They made a mockery of the situation on video. Check it out. Hey, hey, on the couch. Hey, Come on now. They wanted that. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. This yeah. Yeah. We can't even just. We can't. We had to give it to y'all. We ain't want to. But... We are real deep right now, man. <laughs> Yep, and that's where the car, the car was parked right down the street. Hey, this is what he did on the couch. Oh no, and they trolling, bro. They trolling. Oh, slow as hell, man. They yeah, trolled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that was the most. That was that was probably one of the most evil trolls I've seen in my life, gang. Y'all went back to the spot where he lost his life and reenacted how he lost his life, bro. That's crazy, yeah. gang. That's how we coming, man. Long live Leo, no man. Long live Dusky, man. Long live. He said, "Ain't slide no more." In that last video was identified as Chevelle Carter, aka Trap City Carter. Now stay okay. with me, fam. Tragically, a day after that vlog was released, Trap City Carter had lost his life after being gunned down on October 19th. I wonder why, Trap City Car. So the same person that mocked Lil Jeff at the same spot that he ended up getting unalived at got killed the next day. Come on, bro. Come on, gang. We seen this too many times, folks. 
We seen YBC Duel talk all crazy in the vlog. The vlog dropped. His op seed and he get the next day, fool. Why y'all steady keep playing with life, bro? Y'all be tripping, gang. AKA Trap City Car. Now stay with me, fam. Tragically, a day after that vlog was released, the Trap day City later. Carter had lost his life after being gunned down on October 19, 2024 at 38th Street and Ellis Avenue. May he rest in peace. 38th and Love and condolences to his family. The police say two men shot and killed another man last night in the Oakland neighborhood. I on the wonder south who side. that was. Police putting down multiple evidence markers there at the scene near 38th Place and Ellis. A 32 year old I man was shot there was. several times around 845 last night. A witness tells police that they saw two gunmen get into a white vehicle that drove away. No one has been arrested. No one has been arrested as of yet. But fam, you know, this new generation is chaotic. I'm yep. just a messenger. Bloodhound right. Lord Jeff Right Hand Man Q50, who is now an up and coming local rapper, immediately went to Instagram to showcase that he allegedly got get back for his friend. Oh, right Lil now. Jeff and Lil Scoon booling feet kicked up. Now I can get rich. I love and miss y'all. Now I can get rich because I got my get back. That's basically what he said, folks. Lil Hound Lil Jeff can now rest in and peace. And he got thoinks he in his head. He released a song with hand. some questionable lyrics. Check out a clip. Get up, get niggas about. We ran folks deep in the rack. On the way back, I had to catch us a hat. Trap to the down till they ass get back. I'm timed out because his ass a pack. He should never lack. I heard Woo! his ass called four to the dome. Get called by us, you won't make it back home. Woo! Call the nigga in traffic, look it down at his phone. Lil Pool did Z, now Lil Pool gone. Lil Pool did Z, now Lil Pool gone. But on Saturday, November 2nd, 2024, Trap City Carter's family will host his funeral. Bro, at no, they not, bro. No, they not trying to say Q50 got his get back for the nigga that made fun of Lil Jeff from Trap City. And then them same niggas came to the funeral and wet up his sister. Oh my God. She crashed out in the jag. Hit the crib. She, man, boy, it's getting wicked. St. Mark, located on the 1400 block of Lincoln Avenue in Harvey, Illinois. So this in Harvey, so Harvey, Harvey, Harvey cracking though. For everybody that ain't from Chicago, Harvey is cracking, but it's, it's far south. You feel me? So Harvey ain't Chicago. Harvey is the suburbs, but... It's cracking out there. I think Harvey as well. Um, D thing got 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 unalived, bro. Little Dirk brother, he was partying at Harvey. So it's like a lot of niggas in Harvey is from the city because it ain't that far. You know what I'm saying? And like them south suburbs, it do be cracking a little bit over there. Early after the funeral, Trap City's called a 34 year old sister who's a business owner, identified as Romisha Turner, was leaving in her white Jaguar truck. This was a hard night for Romisha. That right. night before. She had gone to Instagram to express her feelings. Quote, that's the most I've ever posted on social media. You know how much I hate this sh Give OG strength with a baby emoji. Alongside, of course, posting her brother. Her brother. Tragically, as Romisha got into her vehicle, almost a half block away. A half she block shot away. Drive -by, targeting those attending the funeral. As of now, it's unclear who the intended target was. A half block away. That means them bloodhound niggas came to they, fun they ops funeral after catching him lacking and unaliving him. They came to they ops funeral and stalked them, gang. She was a half a block away. She didn't make it a block. She didn't even make it a block away from the funeral. And she got hit up in a drive-by and crashed into the crib. Listen, I have a mentorship called the Moolah Membership where I'm going to teach you how to get rich with business, YouTube, crypto, stocks, financial literacy, credit, every single way. Now, I became a millionaire by the time I was 23 years old. I'm going to teach you step-by-step -step for only $50. Click the first link in the description right now and get added to my group chat where I'm going to give you one-on-one -on -one help to make sure you get rich in 2024. Click it right now. Stop tweaking because we got very, very, very limited spots and I don't want you to miss this bag. And, and, and it's over. Boy, and to say these that young niggas is tripping. She was at the wrong place at the wrong time, knowing no. she was showing love to her brother, who she lost to gun violence. Police were called to 147th Street. And, and, and on bro, though, like, I'm going to stop pausing after this game, but on bro, like, y'all need to be more secure with these funerals, bro. Like, it shouldn't be posted online what a funeral at. You know what I'm saying? What time the funeral is. Like, it should be real close when stuff like this going on. You in the middle of a war. So you can't be... Imagine you in the middle of a war zone and you go 
Harvey probably, what, 30, 40 minutes away? You go 30, 40 minutes away, and everybody know when the funeral is, where the funeral at. You know what I'm saying? And, of course, that's a perfect time. They got all your op, the rest of your ops there, your ops family there. You got a lot of time for evil, bro. You got a lot of time to do some do some wicked, demon, demonic shit, fool, on bro grave. Like, this is the perfect place for a person who... Who trying to who trying to be like this, fool? It's the perfect place for somebody who who own that, you know. So I feel like y'all people with funerals like this, like even with her funeral, and may her may she rest in peace. With her funeral, we need to y'all got to keep it low key, bro. Y'all got to keep it smooth. It should be mama, grandmama, uncle, auntie. Y'all don't need to tell nobody where it's at, when it is. Go there, pay your respects. Go home, hire security, police escorts, all that, folks, because it's cracking, gang. I ain't going to lie to you. This ain't the first. This ain't the last time somebody going to come to their op's funeral and wet it up, gang. Seely Avenue, where they discovered the gruesome scene in broad daylight. Omisha was still in her vehicle as she crashed into a local home. May she rest in peace. Love of condolences to her family. Good. Good Saturday evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Dave Savini. We begin with that deadly shooting like during a funeral ago. procession. We now know the woman killed in the south suburbs was headed to a funeral for her brother. Our Darius Johnson has been working this story all day and joins us from the newsroom live with what he's gathered. Darius. Damn, boy. Dave, good well, evening. Uh, don't get me wrong, though. Mako don't agree with this at all, for y'all. Y'all already got y'all ops, gang. Y'all already got him. The person he made fun of Lil' Jeff, he in the streets. He claiming Trap City. That's free smoke. I ain't going to say nothing about that, gang. But when y'all get to come to the funeral, even if y'all want to come to the funeral, gang, and y'all want to follow your ops homies who's also out there claiming gangs also, and y'all want to do something to him, that's one thing too, gang. But to do something to her, to his innocent little, to his innocent big sister, little sister, whatever, gang, while she in a car by herself, bro, you wetting up girls, females? No, nah, gang, I ain't condoning that at all, fo. So do not get that mixed, confused, none of that, fo, on bro. Like, I don't condone that shit at all, gang. It's 34-year-old Romisha Turner. Her brother was being laid to rest when she was killed. Now this family is dealing with two losses, two losses. in a span of two weeks. In less than, yep, half a month. Two weeks. Damage on this property is what's left behind after police say Romisha Turner lost control of her vehicle when someone shot her. Around noon, Dixmore police say they got a call for shots fired at 147th and Sealy. When they arrived, they found Turner inside of a white Jaguar. She had been shot several times. She was taken to Ingalls Memorial Hospital in Harvey, where she died. Turner was a sister, a mother, and Damn, to many, a well-known stylist. Police say she was killed during a funeral procession that just left St. Mark's Church about two blocks away. This funeral was for her brother, Chevelle Carter, who was shot and killed on October 19th at 38th in Ellis. Police have not arrested anyone in his murder. Now, we've heard from some that say this shooting was possibly in retaliation. We know at this time, Chicago police or Dixmore police, rather, are still searching for the person who fired those shots, killing Romisha. Reporting in the newsroom tonight, I'm Darius Johnson. Dave, back to and you I'm going to tell studio. you something, too, if y'all ain't from Chicago. Harvey Police Department is not the Chicago Police Department, bro. Do not think that that's confused, gang. Chicago Police is a lot bigger. It's a lot better. It's a lot more money, a lot more resources. Harvey is a small, po-ass town. You hear me? So the likelihood of the person getting caught is pretty slim, gang, at least on for the girl. Now, they might catch, you know, folks now that did to, 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 to I think his name Chevelle. But Darius, it's a very unfortunate situation, fam. I'm sending love and prayers to these people. Parents, oh, for sure. They families, they parents, they and anyone they close to them. I know people like me who grew up or seen and been around this the type hood. of thing for yeah. a period of time and grew accustomed to it. Yeah. That don't mean it's right. That don't no mean it's right, though. Should have to lose their life while grieving another person who was lost to gun violence. That's what it is when you come to war. There's no rules. And I and I feel like this. Is a mistake, bro. All this Same shit right here. Y'all, y'all, y'all feeding off the clout and y'all getting interviews off the clout and y'all doing all this and y'all trying to go up off the clout, folk. That's just a, a recipe for disaster, folk. That ain't gonna do nothing. That ain't gonna do nothing but get some more people whacked, gang. I ain't gonna lie to you. Cause on Bro Grave, you're not finna tell me. Yes, he was. Yes, bro was probably gang begging. Yes, he was with Trap City. Yes, all that. But if he never put that big ass target on his back and made fun of Lil Jeff right there, he'd probably still be walking this earth. And if he walking this earth, 
his sister walk on this earth. So y'all niggas need to start understanding, like, when you get in the streets, bro, you putting everybody around you in jeopardy. You know what I'm saying? Which is why a lot of street niggas only hang around their other homies. You don't see street niggas a lot of times with girlfriends or, or with kids and families. A lot of times they just hang around like, all their homies all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's like subconsciously, I think it's because they know, like, I'm, I'm in a dangerous game. So I'm going to hang around other people who in this game with me so I don't put no innocent people in danger, folk. Because, gang, I'm telling y'all, bro. If he, I, I feel like if he never tried to make fun, and he only made fun of Lil Jeff because he wanted his little five seconds of fame. He just wanted his the views to go up. He wanted that clip to be to go viral. He wanted he wanted to be the one that make fun of this nigga, even though you ain't. Come on, bro. Accustomed to it. That don't mean it's right. Y'all no supposed to do this and be low key, life, bro. Like what's wrong, y'all? Another person who was lost to gun violence. That's what it is when you come to war. It's no rules. Send 11 prayers to everyone who was affected As we wrap this video up By the story we just discussed But fam, this was the story of a Chicago woman Who was gunned down Rest in peace attended. to her though, for that shit Really, it's really fucked up No, for real though Rest in peace to her, man